talking. I know I'm you talking tell a edges, story. I never edges. even heard. Welcome back to the Unfiltered Doll, where we get into the business of some grown folks. If this is your first time here and you are not into gossip because, baby, this is not your typical type of gossip. If you turn around, we do have an exit sign with letters that glow in pink. And on the table, I left you some PB and J corners donated from one of the sugars. Listen, baby, let's get into this mess. Now, first and foremost, we always want to shout out phone calls from prison because, baby, she provide us. She, listen, she's providing the materials for this reading today, and we love her. Thank you so much, phone calls from prison. So we are still in December of 2022. I want to start by saying this. These next messages are a bit dark. We're talking about a man who's facing a bunch of charges He's down at the jailhouse. His life is twisting and turning, going all over the place. And I will never advertise anybody going through some of the things that he does mention here in these next messages. So what I am going to do is go through them and remove certain things that he does mention um, because that's nothing to play with. And... Um, I don't know if somebody watching this video may have those same thoughts. So we want to definitely make sure we're looking out for the audience as well. Okay, so let's get into it. So I did want to include a number in case anybody is dealing with any type of crisis. That's just for your personal reference. And let's get into these messages. December 22nd, 2022, Nesto lets Sonya know that some days it's so bad when he picks up the phone, he becomes paranoid when he's calling his own family, asking him if he's okay. He said he's scared to say anything because they have his mind and mouth handcuffed to the point that the government will try to use his words against him if he says anything wrong. He said, they have me here in this cell, but I can't even use the law library for law information on my rights. The hot water is cut off and so cold that I can't wash my ass properly how I intend to. When it's time to eat food, they leave the food sitting in the hallways for at least 45 minutes to an hour until they change shifts so it gets cold. I've sent several requests to the doctor because the food sits on my stomach for days to the point I have become constipated and... He's just letting her know that when he goes to the bathroom, you do y'all y'all don't want to know all of this. Now I know you don't want to know this. I I didn't even want to read that, but he's having some issues, you know, with his stomach. He said he's also um the peanut butter, even the peanut butter is causing some issues for him as well. Um, and we've heard this before. We do hear that the conditions in some of these, you know, jails, the prison. They're piss poor conditions. So this is something that we, we've we heard this before for sure. He said his biggest issue is that he feels like he's being treated as if he's guilty since day one of the incarceration for six months. That is not the way due process is properly performed when it comes to the laws of the United States. He says he feels like he's in the Twilight Zone, like the movie Get Out. He always... he always says he feels like he's in the movie get out now i don't want to tell somebody what they can compare things to but get out was very much not the same uh nesto get out had uh, you, you know what you know what he says he's trying to explain himself and no one is trying to listen. Like I'm having an outer body experience or as if I'm deaf and blind trying to express myself. Oh, okay. So that's why you're comparing it to get out. All right. I, I got it according to how you 
type, think, and text is what I'll say. Okay, and he said, this is something that you probably don't know. I have a big heart for people, but sometimes the devil will use the people you have a heart for against you to put you in a predicament that no one will listen. This heart you speak of, is this heart the one beating inside of your chest? Is that the heart you're referring to? You said you have a good heart. Oh, okay. Because on this white copy paper that I have inside of my printer, eight and a half by 11, your charges do cover the front and some of the back. I just have a quick question. Some of those charges doesn't, you know what I mean? You say you got a good heart, but some of those charges, you know, you, you, you get it? Oh, all right. Great. I mean, I guess gangsters got good hearts and they need love too, right? Because that's what you said. You's an MF and gangster, but you can't handle the piss poor conditions in jail. You would like to wash your ass properly. I assume that you're unable to use a wash rag to get into the cracks and crevices of your behind. Is that what it is? Or do you not have any soap? They say don't drop the soap, but if you don't have any soap, that can get a little weird, I bet, huh? What is it, gangsta? Your belly is hurting. You're a little constipated. Do you have money on your commissary? Is there something in the commissary that can maybe help you along with that? I don't know. Maybe you need a little more water since you're in jail i'm sure the water isn't coming from the best source or whatever the case may be but maybe you need some water so that you can get everything to move in on your insides maybe that would be helpful but let's get into the rest and i do realize that there are people and this is me speaking now i'm not reading a message i realize that there are people who have loved ones that are behind the walls of jail behind the walls down at the prison Please do not take anything personal that I'm saying. I am just referring to Nesto in his situation. Um, I understand that there are piss poor conditions. I said that in the beginning of the call as well. But I am reading the messages and just repeating what he is saying. Nesto continues. He says 90% of the guys here that have mental health problems or can't sleep or cope with their own situations take Sericule. Um, I did Google that, you guys, and um, that does treat some mental health disorders. And um, I'm going to be honest, I, I'm glad to hear that those people that are dealing with those type of issues are actually taking something. I couldn't imagine how it would be if they didn't have anything to take to treat, you know, what they have going on. And he said that's their remedy to fix escape reality. But I refuse to fry my brain on man-made chemicals. Oh, so you're healthy. Oh, okay. I had no idea that you were a health nut. Now we know. Okay. And I just have a quick question, Nesto. If you say that the guys have mental health problems and they can't sleep nor cope, what did you want them to do about that? Did you want them to not have any type of help or treatment? While being mixed in the population with someone such as yourself, healthy, with a good heart, and innocent? Or do you want them to get the proper things they need to maintain? I just want to know. Oh, look, we're going down memory lane. I remember when my car got broken into at the Waffle House in Buckhead while I was sitting with my back turned eating at 12 in the morning. Well, where were you coming from at 12 a.m.? When they took my bag out. Now, wait, what, what bag did they take out? Because listen, the last time you got a bag, last time somebody took your bag out, you know what they found in that bag? I begin my investigation into case number, we're going to say one, two, three, four, five, and conducted a search warrant. Subsequent to William's arrest on his vehicle, which is registered to his wife, Shirley Strawberry, a white 2017 Ford F-350 truck assigned Georgia license plate, vehicle ID number, we're not going to, of course, give that information. While conducting the search, there were multiple items seized to include a G-Tech computer, iPhone, a black bag with various documents. Other items found in the vehicle were two black 
dill and doughs. What you're going to do is take the dill and the dough, put it together, plural. There's an S on that. Two black dill and doughs, a black mask with zips, and liquid Viagra. If you're new around here, I love to repeat over and over and over again what was found inside of his bag because I'm sort of like immature, okay? I'm sorry. It's just something that I just do around here and I'm very immature about it. Forgive me later. Now, let's get back to what had happened was when he was at the Waffle House 12 a.m. in the morning and that's what happened. They took his bag out took all forms of personal identification. Well, what form was it your personal forms of identification or did you have other people's form? I'm just at, listen, this is what the people want to know. How many was it just you or was it like multiple people's forms of cuz according to the chart. Mm, okay. Well, you know what? Or was that Erica? Oh, you know what? Maybe don't even worry about it, okay? Let's okay, let's continue. All right. So, they took out all forms of personal identification and my business and personal checks. Ooh, did they now? Are you talking about the checks that didn't have, um, allegedly, I don't know if this is a rumor or not, Nesto, they said, I did not say it. They had said that um, you wrote a few checks and you knew that you didn't have the coverage for those checks in that account. And between you and I, they said the math wasn't math. And so when they went to deposit those checks, right, there was no money. So the services went unpaid. I, I didn't know if you knew that or not. But I guess what had happened was that night when you went to the Waffle House, 12 a.m. to get your breakfast. And what did you get? Because you're healthy, right? You don't like certain foods down at the jailhouse because it upsets your tummy. What were you eating? Did you get a smoothie? Maybe an avocado toast? Order of avocado toast. Is that what you got with the grilled chicken? Oh, I see. And while you were having your healthy midnight snack, they went into your car and stole everything important to you and it set you back. That really sucks, Nesto. I mean, if he can live in a world full of delusion and tomfoolery and bullshit, why can't I? I am so sorry this happened to you, Nesto. Okay, so he said, that is what made me come up with my security company. Oh, here we go. The police came and watched the security footage and did nothing to help afterwards except writing a police report. Well, what did you want them to do? Go on a high-speed chase? The person was already gone. How does, for all we know, based off of your charges, was that Erica who went into your car and took your things? And were you trying to file a report so that you can get some, oh, no, oh, file insurance? No, okay, never mind. I don't want to assume things. Nesto continues. So in my mind, no one is safe out here. <laughs> According to your charges, that would be very true, sir. But those people are safe now because look at where you're at right allegedly right who can you trust we can't trust you that's for damn sure allegedly that is what made me come up with my security company the security company that you use to check that teacher's information to make her think that you were a legit citizen of georgia <laughs> and what you did was took her inside of that rv and did a little rubbing on her back gave her a massage and then all of a sudden ploop Something fell into her tussy cat. Isn't, isn't that something? And all of a sudden, you had a side relationship with her. And at the same time, you were taking money from her for services never rendered. Am I correct or am I lying? I am forgot. Is this civil? Hey, it doesn't even matter. You know what? Let's move on. Because this is an innocent man and everyone is innocent until proven guilty. But <laughs> you really just set yourself up for failure every time you pull out this tablet and start telling this girl your business. So Nesto continues, this is what made me come up with my security company. It took me a minute to build trust with the community and I have lost even that in six months. Now I have to walk around with a brown paper bag on my head from the embarrassment of all of this I'm going through. I will talk to you tomorrow if I wake up. Now this is where I'm going to stop because one thing I'm not going to do 
is regardless if we read these for content, I'm not going to read everything that doesn't feel right to me, especially if I don't know what somebody, you know, you could be watching this having a good day, but maybe you had a bad day yesterday. So I don't want to bring up certain things that may trigger you. So we're going to cut off the message right there because it does get a little dark. And regardless if we're, you know, we can have our opinion about what he's saying and the messages that he's sending. I'm just not going to repeat it here on this channel. Okay, so let's find out where we're at after he's finished with this type of talk. What's really getting to me is that they are taking my cases and juggling them around to their advantage so that they can keep me in here. So often, sometimes I catch myself staring at the wall for hours. Can't really talk to any other inmates because they play games too. So you're the only sane one down at the jailhouse. Wow, that has to be crazy. They could try to jump on my case and get information to give to the prosecutors in hope of getting out of their cases. Did you ever do that before, Nesto? Hmm. Ever since the police put me on TV, it has made me look bigger in the criminal world like I'm getting millions. Well, now that we're in 2024, soon to be 2025, we know that you are not getting that, okay? <laughs> we know, all right? And sometimes, just in case you didn't know, Nesto, the math doesn't have anything to do with what's in your bank account. You know, it's assets and, you know, all of that stuff. You know, things you, you know, the possession and, yeah, you know what I mean? You got a whole fleet of vehicles, things you didn't pay, all that stuff they're saying. I know it's just a rumor you're an innocent man. But I just wanted to let you know, just in case you didn't know that that, you know, total that they come up with is not based off of what your available balance is because we know that that wasn't, the math wasn't math. And okay, I just wanted to make sure you knew that, Nesto. He said, stalking me, Jesus, laugh out loud. He's responded to Sonya and her stalking messages that she mentioned. He said, that's not a good feeling when people think you are doing the wrong thing to get money. That is not my MO. So what helps me some, what keeps my head together is the great improvement that you're making in your life and that you're healthy. Now you say that you're healthy and I know that you be lying. No, he didn't say that. He said, you say you're healthy, but you still haven't made me aware of your doctors. Why are you going to pay any of her co-payments? You can't go to the doctors with her. So what do you mean you need to know about her doctors? What, what can you do about that? You're behind the jail wall. Are you kidding me? It makes me sad because you said last week that you might, these two got a, is it, these two are, my goodness, it can be a little depressing reading this. It seems like everyone in my circle has perished. Damn near all the employees I had are jobless and the ones that are working are barely hanging on in hopes that I get out. Oh, wow. You don't say. It's hard to find people who are good at what they do and would enjoy subcrap sub crack <laughs> sometimes i think they sound like they smoke a little crack sometimes my god it's hard to find people who are good at what they do and would enjoy subcontracting for me that's here nor there looks like you're coming up with another scheme huh i have so much respect for people who are dealing with mental health right now because you can't tell by looking at a person some people will say when they look at you that they didn't know that you did the things that they allegedly said you had did either. And if I'm, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but the messages that I read a little bit earlier, you don't have respect for the inmates that you share space with and their mental health. So how can you say that you have a respect for people's mental health if you don't know? You don't even have respect for your own daughter. When you let us know, I know invasion of privacy, you didn't let us know anything, but you don't have any respect for your own child's mental health, but you respect the people who don't wear their mental health on their sleeves. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Or do you respect that because you're into the manipulation game? Is that why? Do you respect when people don't look like what they've been through or what they're going through? Because people assume you're a certain way 
based off of what you look like and you're a fucking monster and their worst nightmare, allegedly. Hmm, I'm just saying. So pretty much at the end of this message, it does go dark and that's not something that I'm going to read here on this channel. So he says, I don't want to be one of those people to be in regret because life can change in a split second. Just like when I went missing for five weeks and you couldn't find me. I hope you got that money back from the other lawyer today so I can move on. Now, what money are you? Because we are in December 2022. What money do you think she was getting back from what lawyer? I know good and damn well you're not talking about the money that surely... What's the I know you're not that crazy. It better be some other money is all I know. It's only a few days left in this year and I'm hoping I will be truly blessed to bless others next year. May God keep us together and safe. Have a great night. Are you, what, what do you eat for breakfast? What is wrong with you? Is it poison? Why do you keep, uh, you keep bringing up God to somebody who does not believe. For what reason? Why do you do that? So this woman, like I said, a lot of the stuff I did not read because he went dark. And she says, oh my God, call me. I'm so sorry you're going through all of this. It will get better. This will pass. I need you to stay strong, strong. What? That's all you got? You don't want the responsibility of this man at all. You just want him for your own benefit. And you just want him because you want to feel like you took somebody's place. Girl. So we are going to end there. I don't like things that get a bit dark and uncomfortable. Especially, you know, when you don't know who's watching. And I don't want anybody to feel a certain type of way about their own situation so we will continue these maybe on friday um we're going to do something else completely different i need a break from this particular storyline and then we'll pick back up where we left off thank you so much for joining me sugars hey girl hey sugar hey doll baby i know baby life be life in okay and i know you're like girl the grammar listen keep going you're not stuck unless you stop and that is on period if you ever need to reach out to the doll baby go ahead and email us at unfiltereddoll at outlook.com don't forget to subscribe like and comment baby because you know i like to talk and have the best day on purpose toodles